Yo, this is MTV. Welcome to my crib. What do you mean that's copyrighted? But this is YouTube. People people don't care about copyright on YouTube of all places. So that was my probably terrible attempt at comedy just there. And um, after my sanitizing your lipstick video, lots of people have been requesting more comedy type of videos. Sad to say this isn't one of them, but um, apparently if you want to be famous or whatever and you're fat, you ha it has to be in comedy. So um, I might be doing more of that. So, hey guys, this is Winona from the future. And I forgot to say this when I first filmed the um, start intro, but this video is going to be doing something I have not seen one single other video do on YouTube. I'm going to be teaching you what to do when you completely fuck up or you slightly fuck up. I'm going to be teaching you, this is how my hair looks by the way, but um, not washed out yet. I'm going to be teaching you some tricks if things go wrong what to do so please stay tuned and i promise you this video is going to be like a lot more helpful than like there are bits on each video on youtube that i think are really helpful and worth watching but this video is going to be like really important as you can see my hair is not the color it was after toning and this is how it looks I've actually dyed my hair purple once and this is it faded out. It looks a lot lighter in real life because of the studio lights. It's like picking up the darker bits of it. And um, I made some mistakes the first time I did it, even though I've done it a million times already. But um, I will share those mistakes with you now so you can learn from them. So for some stupid reason, after I'd toned my hair... Well, I guess I was well-meaning. I conditioned my hair in the shower and then I put like some Oloplex on it, leave-in and some Moroccan argan oil and I left that on. And then um, I put the hair dye over the top of it. And that came out super, super duper patchy. And um, like it clung to bits like here and then like bits underneath were like greeny grey colour. So um... Yeah, that's why you should just shampoo your hair in the shower and no matter how gross it feels, like, just let it dry because um, otherwise it's not going to stick properly because there'll be parts that won't accept the colour. And also another tip I have for stopping it to go patchy is mix in two different brands. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix in some um, Schwarzkopf Live Colour um, uh, lilac blush and then also um, directions by Lariche violet so that's gonna make it um, um, I'm not a scientist or anything but I find that um, when you put in um, two different brands of color like it gets more even for some reason and I'm also going to be using herbal essences Moroccan my shine I guess that's a pun on rocking, rocking my shine, but it's not a very good pun, so um, they should probably work on that. But um, all hair tutorials I've seen have said don't use silicone um, or um, like shampoos that have silicone in them, but um, which are like these kind of cheap brands like Herbal Essences and Pantene and stuff. But I find like cheap crappy conditioners work better than non-silicone ones because I feel like when they have the silicone in them it helps the dye like go into your hair a bit better so that's going against basically every other video on YouTube but I would suggest using like a cheap one just the cheapest one you can find and don't worry about like if it's organic or whatever I guess if you're a vegan you'll probably worry about like if it's tested on animals and stuff but um so yes I just got this which was the cheapest because in Australia at the supermarket it has to say like price per 100 mils so like if one's 70 mils and one's 30 you can like work out which is actually cheaper and this is the cheapest one they had so I got this and I got the dyes that I showed you I've got a tint brush and a bowl so what I'm going to do is I am going to pour in some of this dye and fill up enough dye to cover my entire head and white conditioner is good so you can see um like how the color actually is going to turn out in the hair but um since i'm kind of experienced at doing this and also like blue is pretty 
pretty complimentary color with um purple so it, it won't really matter if I was doing like yellow and I mixed it with blue then it would look kind of green in the bowl so I wouldn't recommend doing that and for those of you wondering how many mils this is going to be for my hair it's like almost 300 mils so that's a lot of conditioner so now I'm going to just add in my other colors so forgive me if the camera is shaky um, it's kind of off the tripod, I'm just holding it. But now I'm going to put in the Schwarzkopf Live. You can see that says Lilac Blush. Hey, there's, you can see my face kind of. Um, and I'm going to, just, just going to squirt in, this is the pastel ones. A bit of the pinky purple colour. So just like, Yeah. So now that we've added in the lilac blush colour from Schwarzkopf, we're going to add in some of this um, violet colour from Directions. Now if you want it to be a more pinky purple, you're going to put more of the Schwarzkopf colour and you want it to be a more bluey, lilac-y purple, we're going to add more of the Directions colour. So we are just going to put a tiny little bit. So basically all I did, it was a two-handed job, so I had to put the camera down, is put that little bit on the edge and now I'm going to stir it around. So you mixed up your colour to the colour that you wanted, however dark, however pink, however blue, blah, blah, blah. And first you need to know that if you want to get this pastel colour, you need to have super blonde hair, like I showed you in the how to tone your hair video. So um, if your hair is like not that dark, if it's still got yellow tones or whatever in it, then you're going to want to get a darker colour. Like maybe using this straight out of the tub or whatever. But if you're diluting it with conditioner, it's going to need to be hella, hella pastel. So now we're just going to put it on our hair. So we've got the brush and let's just start.
So I've just applied this onto my hair and I wanted to talk to you guys about the truth. Now I have seen two types of pastel hair tutorials on YouTube. There is the first type. Oh my god, hi guys, I'm just going to dye my hair pastel and oh my god, here are the results. Didn't it come out perfect? Thanks, bye. And then there's the other type. Hi guys, I'm going to be dyeing my hair pastel. Oh my god, it looks like a piece of shit. What have I done? It looks horrible. I'm giving up. I'm dyeing it brown again. So there are the two types I've seen. And neither one is completely true about dyeing your hair pastel. Dyeing your hair pastel is a tricky beast. It's something that even the experts, not that I'm an expert, or even professional hairstylists get this wrong. Even like people that, I don't know, just like people, we get it wrong. People that have been doing it for years, people that are doing longer for me, have had fails. And I'm going to show you how to fix some of those fouls. So the first thing would be, you wash it out, you dry your hair, the next day you look at your hair and you're like, it's like, it's too pastel. It's not purple enough. It looks like a pale, silvery, grey, purple colour. So what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to mix up the mixture with the bowl, the conditioner and the two dyes we used. And you're going to want to put a bit more of each in, apply it to your hair, and it'll come out a darker shade. So that's what you're going to do if you do it too pastel. If you do it too dark, you're going to want to um, wash your hair a lot. Now, if you need it pastel fast, you can use um, a dandruff, anti-dandruff shampoo, like head and shoulders. And like get in the shower, wash your hair like four times. Dry it off next day, wash your hair like four times with the shampoo and it'll come out pretty quick to like back to the toned colour. Okay, if you dye your hair and you get out of the shower after washing it and it is like hell, like hell blue, like you're like, this doesn't even look purple, it looks blue. You can, there's two ways you can do this. You can either do the whole bowl mixture with shampoo and add some pink dye. So this is a really good pink dye that I recommend that's very accessible in Australia. They sell a lot of woolies and coals and stuff. And put a bit of this in and like you're making up a pastel pink dye. Like just look up a how to dye your hair pastel pink tutorial and follow that. And put that on the blue hair. Let it soak in, wash it out and it'll be purple. But if you do, what you can also do is you can buy... A pink shampoo lots of people have heard of purple shampoo but this is by bright organics and it's really good so um a uh, pink shampoo you could just use that a few times and your hair will go to less blue more purple and if you make your hair too pink you get out of the shower after washing out and you're like this is full-on pink it's not purple you can either get blue hair dye and put it with the conditioner, make a blue hair dye, put it on the pink hair and it'll come up purple. Or you can use a silver shampoo. This is by Fudge, it's a clean blonde violet toning shampoo and it'll say um, removes yellow tones and violet toning for blondes and use this a few times, it'll knock out a lot of the pinky tones. And so they're for kind of like minor, minor to moderate like fuck ups, but if you've done like a major fuck up and you realise your hair is too dark, not bleached enough, and you can't afford to buy more bleach and you don't know what to do, there are two things you can do. Number one, which is the thing that like most of the people do after the foul tutorials, is to just dye it brown again. Pretty simple. The other thing you can do is you can find a uh, purple, in this case, dye that looks good um, on darker hair. And... You're going to have to give up on your dream of pastel hair for now. And it, it's going to be a dark purple. And if you use this colour that we used before, but you don't you don't dilute it with a conditioner, just get like maybe three tubs of this, put it straight on your hair. And if you even if you have a, like a medium brown colour, it will come out as purple on your hair. So that is like your last resort. My hair is like a horrible, like silver weird brown colour or it didn't even show up at all. So that's what you're going to want to use. 
So um, that is my secrets. If you want to know like any other secrets, how to fix stuff, um, comment. But hopefully this segment helped because it's something I haven't seen anyone else do. So I will be back tomorrow when I have shampooed and conditioned my hair and dried it off. And because um, I don't dry with a blow dryer because my hair is... Um, bleached and I don't want to damage it so tomorrow once it's dried while I sleep I will show you the finished results so love you guys lots see you soon got a cracking like a buy bag bitch talking like a queen but you look like a lab rat so uh this is the day later and I'm really happy with how it turned out yes this is my hair lovely lilac hair this hairstyle I did, like messy waves, took like less than five minutes and I didn't even use a curling iron, I used um, a flat iron. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on that, then please let me know. So thanks so much for watching guys, I love you lots. Bye!